ass, like, allergy fingers. Fingers. So, <laughs> it was really nice. Hi, if you can. Yeah. There it goes. Ta-da. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Welcome to High Shelf Games. Friday night, and we are playing Midday Madness. It's Hecna, run by our good friend Taylor from Ponsane. We have Taylor and Blair here from Blair. And me and Kelly here from um Girl Squad, Girl Gang. Bosses. Um 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 quick updates from us. Um G is she is playing Aegon tomorrow night. It is our last episode. Sound is a bit Y yes. <laughs> Went for it, Jake. Like I took you as my inspiration. For I going don't know. ham with my. We worked on the audio. I'll continue. Oh, oh. Solid thirty minutes. I was I was lucky. I could just go get or Janasi. Bam. <laughs> um. So yeah, Aegon tomorrow night. It's gonna be our last episode of that, and we'll be transitioning to Mass Effect uh, every other Saturday. Um, and different game that HSP is. Um, and then Wednesday we have Red Markets. Uh, where I can't help that, Jake. I talk quiet. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. um, in in your Discord account? Oh, you know what? I did turn it down because I was being a little bitch about the sound. Is that any better? Let us know in the chat. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I seem fine to myself and the three people that I am playing games with. Um, so, but those are the announced uh, Wednesday's Red Markets with us. Uh, in the future, uh, look for more stuff for, for Gen Con. HSG is going to be there with Con Save, running some games, having some fun, being safe. Um, so get, we'll definitely have more uh, info out there on that. It sounds like our audio is better. Well, not sounds. It looks like our audio is better. Um, I'm going to kick it over to Blair and Taylor for the Con Save stuff. Wee! Um... I forgot what I forgot everything to do. Uh, let's see <laughs> what do we do. So every other Thursday, Annihilation, ran by Jake, where we are. I think finally in the forest, or the, not the forest. This is the jungle, jungle, and we'll see what happens. Then um, on Sundays we have Game Watch. Uh, this week we're gonna just have another fun chill week, and then we'll probably pick up Borderlands again very soon. Discord is loud. I'm not used to streaming and not having it silenced. I gotta fix that. Um, then, coming up today, Aegon's coming back for us. We, we took a few weeks off because busy lives, so we'll probably wrap that over the next few weeks. Um, what else do we do? What else do we do? We're here. Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft mornings. Yeah, they've been coming back. I think, are we going to do it this coming Sunday morning? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. This coming Sunday morning. Um, that is the, the Lewis and Blair show, and then Heather and I tag along now. So. Yeah, come come watch for uh, fun times with Lewis and Blair, and then Taylor and I just playing mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <for> Taylor. <laughs> Okay, so the only reason that it does go that way is because we need so much help. Because we there's a there's a clip coming soon of us almost exploding, and it's like my yeah. favorite thing ever. Taylor um, is I there. I think about it. Taylor is there to save them when trouble happens, and I'm here just to be disappointed when stuff happens. Um, <laughs> I stay at home. I don't go where they go. Yeah, she's the disappointed mother, and then I. Come in and kill things and clean up their messes when they get it. 
I just stay in the back and I have like my sword out and I'm just like, okay, y'all do it. And I'll just, I just won't die. I'll just be back here. And that sometimes does happen. I don't die and then I'm stuck there by myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, that's coming up Sunday. It looks, sounds like we'll be live um, around the content. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, then um, we've got some more fun stuff coming. Oh God, it's this. It's tomorrow. Oh my God, tomorrow. I, I need to start writing these things down. I or do like Jake does and look at the calendar. That would legend be keeper. The legend uh, keeper can really help you organize your whole life. Yes, everything. It's not even just your top page, but everything. Um, I spent a good like three hours today putting in all the rules for the Witcher. So. Oh, the Witcher yeah, Legend gonna... Keeper is getting really great. If anyone just wants in it to learn the game, let me know. <laughs> it's getting real top notch. Um, but tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central on the Con Save is the first episode of Tragedy at Heart's Home, ran by a new DM and friend of the Con Save, Jonathan. Uh, it should be super fun. It's like a dark fantasy, spooky. You know, it's not going to be carnival like this. It'll be a nice um, tone change. And it should be very fun. I guess it's uh, middle of the day because you know, Jonathan's in the UK. You know, time zones are really weird, right, Blair? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's it. And then more fun stuff coming in July. We've got some more cyberpunk coming, some more one shot theme. Uh, mm -hmm. While we get ready for Gen Con and then whatever next big campaign I'm going to run that isn't this. Cool. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I think with all that, um, we're going to get started because um, it's probably going to be a few hours tonight. Um, probably won't go too late, um, just so everyone's expectations are met. That's kind of what's going on here. So, Taylor, with that being said, how about it? I should have. I was talking. I need to. <laughs> how do I turn on? There it is. Enable. I, because normally I'm streaming, so Discord automatically goes into streamer mode, and I just had a notification sound in my ear, and it was very assaulting on the screen, so I had to turn that off. Okay. So, guys! Hi! We're hi. back, we're back, y'all are, y'all are in, in, in the regalia. Uh, so, of our first episode, where you all were minding your own businesses, walking, running, dancing in various locations across the world and dimensions. When um everything started getting weird. Everything started getting dark, kinda mucky, kinda icky, I don't know. Big trees. It was getting real spooky. And each of you had very interesting encounters. Ned found a uh, acrobat in the forest who had an invitation to the Rebellia signed to him. Whereas um, Kipoli, I gotta write these names. Kipoli was running and slammed into a gnome woman who led her to the Rebellia before disappearing into the crowds and possibly cursing her. I don't know. Odd. Um, and then Kate probably had the best time. She made a friend with another fellow performer. She got a golden ticket. Came in. They danced their way. It was just a beautiful, fun time. But then, oh my god, her, her whole day may have been a little crushed when um, you all met together and learned that this place might not be as great as it seems as you talked to a elven woman who had been attacked by a bear in the forest tried to escape. She's looking for her brother who has disappeared because people come, seem to come here and then they change and things gets weird and she can't find her brother and she need, we need to get out and apparently, currently, the only way she knows to leave the rebellion is death. So, she's asked if y'all could just help, maybe help figure that out. Um, you then adventured the jamboree for a little bit as a parade came by with different acrobats. Uh, the Miss Bella Bellazon was there, as well as some dancers that Meg noticed were 
not sad. They looked real happy. They looked not in pain. Tears streaming from their eyes as they walked along the float with Hecna himself standing at the top, waving and blowing you each a little kiss. You met Pinky, an interesting clown um, dressed in pink as her namesake. And, uh, assaulting Peep, <laughs> who had a uh, wonderful friend. Matthew. Matthew <laughs> McNally. Who is McNally. Matthew. It's, it's good old Matthew McNally. Um, has joined you on your journey as you went to Hostel. Hostile. Hostel. And um, that, that's where you were set on your current adventure from uh, Ramona, a marionette who seems to be malfunctioning a little bit and has a horrible horrible um but she uh does she did kind of ask you for some help as you heard he did some bodies for help throughout the hostel you found the missing room nine that she had completely forgot about and have entered into it to find uh the sweet sweet a interesting doll house in the middle of this room you can still hear the echoing screams coming from within uh, both it and Kithily at different points uh, touched the dollhouse and disappeared. And Med, you're standing there in this windowless dark room. All you can see is this dollhouse. It has a nice glow to it. I kind of checked it out. You can't see in it or anything. It kind of looks like a set piece set in the middle of the room. Um, before we push forward, uh, mm -hmm. Tether has an audio problem. Uh-oh. Or audio. Um, I think the three of us can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I can I can go get hmm. um, our resident IT guy. Yeah, I'm going to take just a quick moment to do that. <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't know what to do on my end if it sounds good to y'all. It does... Um, uh, Twitch folk, can y'all hear everyone else just fine? Is it only Taylor, or is it just us? Or is it all of it? And then I will um, mute and go off camera and get my IT guy. Uh, I'm lovely so... you have one in the house. Just, you know. As you said, it, sound, it sounds good to y'all, right? So I shouldn't like mess it... with my gain or anything? No, it's just, it's it looks something like... with Kelly's with stream up, it sounds like. Not Kelly. Seems like everyone, not Kelly, has their sentences cut off. Okay. Since I'm the one streaming. Um, okay, give me a hot minute, y'all. Um, I'll get my resident IT guy away from our tiny dictator. Um, and my apologies. <laughs> I'll leave us going so we can keep making faces. Um, unless y'all want a, a break screen. It's up to y'all. No, it's fine. We'll leave it live. Just so okay. I'm not touching that house. That's what I'm not doing. Okay. Okay, good to know. All right, perfect. perfect. Oh. I have touched the house. I am in the house. I am also in the house. I accidentally, well, I mean, I did, I touched it on purpose, but I accidentally went in it. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't mean to. So the Legend Keeper, y'all, um, is Legend a thing great. that we use for almost all of our games, all of HSG's games now. I found it like before I started Cyberpunk just randomly. And yeah. then quickly all of us jumped on it. Oh hell <laughs> so yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, we got it. Uh, Dave introduced me to it and now everybody's use it for all our games. Hell we run red markets out of it. <laughs> like yeah. as our character too. Oh. Nice. 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 Yeah, I um spent a good a good bit of today wasting my time, if we're gonna be honest. Um really? in Legend Keeper. <laughs> Not a waste. It wasn't. Like I said, okay, so I'm trying to learn the Witcher TTRPG because mm -hmm. guess what, guys? I'm gonna run into Gen Con. Yeah, it'll be so fun. Yay. But I gotta learn it. And um thankfully <laughs> some wonderful people here are gonna be my guinea pigs. So I've been putting in rules 
and like very basic world lore all of the pre-gen characters everything so y'all can look at it and get the gist of it without having to read the entire freaking book like i am nice yeah. i dig that yeah, yeah. Did, well did it also explain um the all of the lore of witcher in <laughs> Hushy Keeper look up eventually of us that uh, I put a map in today, and I've already, um, I've already toyed with the idea of putting in pins and history for every section of the continent. What I know Look, about the Witcher, what I know about the Witcher is that there's Geralt, mm -hmm. and then the blonde child, Siri. And then mm -hmm. there's the two women that aren't like the last game. He Tris almost had a threesome, and... but then. Like if you do yeah. that scene, then not Tris. What's the actual the, the, the sorcerer's lady? She was like the other lead in the show. Why have I forgotten uh, her name all of a sudden? Uh, Come on, chat, chat, tell us because I don't know. Who? Yeah, who's the other? Oh man, the other chick, y'all. I literally watched the first three episodes of the show yesterday too, and she was in it, and I've already forgotten her name. It's a really cool, dark, spooky chick, right? Yeah. Yennefer. Um, Yennefer. Yennefer. All right, y'all. I don't get to wear my fun hat. But... Oh, no. no. I know. I know. Everyone understands. <laughs> but it was here. It was seen. It was yeah, seen. it was on stream. Y'all. In appearance. We're here to represent. I'll see if I can't fix it um, at, at, in the break. But oh, oh, where is like a brooch? As like a, a brooch little fit in the head in the headphones. Like, <gasps> yes. Sure. See, I could do it like that. There we go. We'll just yes. yes. I shan't be slayed by work. technology. Anyway, let us continue. So sorry for this. <laughs> That's why I brought my earbuds from my office is so I could have fun buns because fun buns don't work with the headphone band. Right? I didn't even think about so, it. Okay. Yeah. Um okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's uh leave it that way for <laughs> David. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. He might yes. wear it. He might wear it. You probably super glue it. It can never be no, removed. I want to wear it again. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you gotta buy another one. A second one just for the head. It was it was specially made by a friend, so this is one <gasps> Ooh, of a kind. Well, one of a kind. Oh, that's so cool. So anyway, like tiny um hair. Sorry, sorry, y'all, for that. Um, like I chose I chose fashion over function, and it fucked up. So <laughs> sometimes it happens. I, it happens. Um, okay, so we are. I'm sitting here with this dollhouse. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And my friends got sucked inside. Mm -hmm. Um. And we're not with Ramona at this point. Like she, no, she's still she... outside the door. Yeah, she let y'all in, uh, wrote very specific notes that when you knock to let you out, because she is the only one that can operate this door. That's right. <laughs> and That's right. Okay. She thinks, oh, there might be someone that she forgot to let out in there. Um, Gertrude Figgy Pudding? That is the ghost. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I am going to try and talk to them. They sound far away to me. So I'm you still going... only hear the one guy talking and like just oh, yelling. Oh, the guy's like trying to get out, right? Like he's mm -hmm. he stuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I haven't heard them. I'm still going to try and talk to them. So okay. I'm going to try yelling. Okay. Are you alive? Um, Kithaly and Kate. After this odd sensation of feeling like you've just been squooshed through like a vacuum, just like air and weird, and then poof, you kind of plop, and both of y'all have kind of hit the ground as you're just dropped into somewhere. And um, you kind of blink and look around, and then you immediately first thing you notice is it is really cold it's a lot colder in this area than anywhere in the revalia that you've been so far and you know you're expecting to be inside a dollhouse maybe 
you're sitting on grass among tall trees. And there's in front of you a brightly colored cottage that looks like a real life gingerbread house with piped icing around the windows and doors and large pieces of sugar candy comprise this uh, comprise the shutters and the walkways from the lush soil grows a vibrant faintly glowing mushrooms made of cotton candy and inviting warm glow flickers in the cottage's windows the otherwise pleasant view is disrupted momentarily by a loud shouting, which echoes and kind of reverberates through the forest as it's amplified, almost like if it's almost like it's amplified by a speaker. It's so loud. And you say, get me out of here, help. And then right as that kind of goes, you hear, are you alive? <laughs> That's much further echoed and quieter. And very quickly, you recognize that that one as Med's voice. Um, I'll uh, yell back that... Yes, we are with, you know, definitely like chest voice, like getting it out there, um, uh, trying to like be louder than the yelling that, that we hear. Yeah. Uh, Med, you, you hear, you hear Kithalini back, but it was, you're like, oh, okay. So I I got the gist. (laughs) I'd like, um, Med's going to look in the windows, um, (laughs) Are they lit up? Um, yeah, so I you can tell inside? that there's there's a glow kind of coming from the inside. And then as you look in, it kind of looks like there's almost just a, a false interior kind of like painting in front of the windows. You know, like like a cheapo Barbie house where they just like stuck like, in here there's a couch and like a cat. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Med would remember. Kelly does not. Um, I know um, one person touched it, and then another person, did they both touch it physically, or? Yeah, Kathleen okay. went to knock, and then Kate went to go cast a spell, but when That's she right, touched it, him. she immediately. Yeah, shit. Okay. I'm going to find, like, a stick, because <laughs> dollhouses can open up, so that's that's what he's going to try and do, is try and, like, open this house. And okay. see if he can't see inside. Um, do you have anything on you? Because this is a like this five is- by five tiny little empty room, oh. and the only thing in there is dollhouse. He has a quarter staff he could use. Um I don't think I specifically have it named, but he would have like a rucksack with let's do the quarter staff. Okay. So you kinda grab your quarter staff and stand back a little and kind of start to kind of scooch it, see if you can open, see if there's a little class somewhere like poking it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't budge. Like you even start to like p- kind of put your weight almost onto it. And this like dollhouse this big doesn't move. Like it is solid. Okay. Um any, maybe this would be a survival check. I'm going to, like, smell. Mm-hmm. And just see, like, if anything, like, do I smell ozone or, you know, bodies? Beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Ozone or bodies, please? Thank you. <laughs> Those are the two specific things. Or five. <laughs> anything else? I don't want to know. Only ozone or bodies. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's a 24. Awesome. Ooh. You know, um, like rain or ice or you know yeah. whatever smell. I'm, it smells different than the rest of the room. Yeah. So, yeah, in the room that you're in, very stale, very just like a closed room. You know, just that like the smell of just nothing but dust and no air moving. Uh, you kind of get up to the dollhouse and you do a little, little sniff as you're looking through the windows. You smell like fresh gingerbread cookies. You smell just saccharine, sweet, you know, candies or, you know, chocolate, like all these sweet smells. But you also get like a little hint of like pine, like some some fresh air. Like the same smell of the trees that were outside the Revelia? 
similar. Yeah. Just kind of a, a forest, you know, like a cool. Dark. Uh, I'm going to do the knock on the door to <laughs> try and speak with Ramona. Okay. The so, yeah, you... hostel worker. Knock. You wait a second. You wait a second. You're like, oh no. Did she forget about me? That bitch. That bitch. And as soon as you think that the door opens. Yes. She's like. Kithily. Kithily? I'm the bird. Med. Bird. Giant, okay. giant bird. Okay. Giant. Okay. Okay. Totally. I'm going to totally write different. that note next time. Yeah. Bird is okay. that. Okay. Blue is that one. Red shoes. That. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Hi. um, have you stopped the screaming yet? Working on it. Totes working on it. <gasps> Let's talk about this house that's in here. Do you know anything about this? House? Um, so she's, um, he's in the doorway and he is going to try and like open, like stand off to the side so that he can, she can see this house situation. Kind of looks in. She's like, oh. I forgot where I put that. I guess I left that in here. That's a bad place to leave it because room nine disappears a lot. And then if I lose a sweet sweet, I've lost two rooms. Is that oh. the sweet sweet? The house? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's the sweet sweet. Oh. So can you move this house? Um. Sometimes. If it's unoccupied, I can move it. Usually I go in and then I clean it and then I'll come out and then I'll move it. Um. But if it's not moving, um, I don't think, I don't remember. Hold, and she kind of like goes behind her and she's got almost like a belt that has like holsters for like books and stuff. Cause she keeps so many notes. There's like sticky notes stuck all over her. She's got like stuff like scribbled on the wood of her arm and, like everywhere. So she can try to rip her something. And she just pulls out this giant book and she's like, Okay. Okay, I think I think I see the problem here. Um if that house isn't moving, then it probably means that Gertrude's there. And then that screaming probably means that the guy that I rented room number 9 is in there. And more. My my two compatriots are in there as well. So oh. hmm. Let's, um, how fix? (laughs) Um, so usually, um, Gertrude, fakey putting the, the ghost, she's, she's a very sweet little girl. I mean, she, she doesn't mean any harm. She just, uh, she has quite the taste for sweets. Um, that's why she likes that room. So, you know, sometimes she'll come in from, from the, the, the forest and, and come and stay. Um, usually, uh, we'll, we'll make some sort of trip for candy, but I, that's how she leaves is we'll give her something sweet. She knows it's time to go, but I forgot she was here. So I, um, so how do you get people get... out? If she comes out with sweets, how do you get non ghost sweet oh. things? Out? Okay. Um, hold and she like digs again and looks in something else and she pulls out like a candy cane. This is the key. To the sweet sweet. To the sweet sweet. Yes. Ah. Can you um will, will you will you come in and use it? I'll, I'll just give it to you. Okay. Cause if I go in, I don't know where anyone is. I maybe they're all at the parade. If I go in, we're stuck in there again. Because I don't know. I have lots of people that work for me, but I forgot where they went. How do you use the key? Oh, just touch the door with it. The door. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any door in the sweet suite will work if you touch it to it. It knows that you want to come back and it'll it'll drop you right here. Um but so, um So it's gonna bring out Gertrude. Oh, she kind of comes and goes as she pleases. Um, the only way that she really knows to leave is that we give her some sort of sweet, and usually she's not very happy. She gets a little temperamental if we don't have anything sweet um i have some 
stale cakes. That might, that might help. Um, I think I told someone to go get some from Candy, but I don't know where they went. Okay. Did I ask you your name yet? It's not Kithily. I have a note. Okay. That's right. Okay. I'm the bird. If you stop the screen, if you stop the screen, and I'll give you tonight free. I just Wonderful. I can't handle it. So, uh -huh. um, okay. Thank you. I take the candy cane. Do you, oh, um, hold on. And she kind of like scuttles down the hall. And you're like, wait a second. She comes back and she has like a, a, a little, um, kind of like pastry box that has like four pretty stale looking like bunt cakes with like a bunch of like frosting and like sprinkles on it. She's like, um, maybe this will help get Gertrude out. Um, it's not as much as we usually give her, but it's a start. Do I set it outside like cookies for Santa or do I bring it in with me? Take it in with you. Okay. Like I said, she can be very sweet. Um, she just likes her sweets. Okay. Takes mm -hmm. the box. Shuts the door. <laughs> just knock when you want out. Good luck. Thank you. Med. You're yes, med. Yes, yes, Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just hear her, like, clomping down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> While this is happening, can I be doing something? Yeah. Okay, so as soon as, like, Kate jumps in and, like, does the whole, like, uh, like uh, teleporting, like, into the thing, she probably thinks it's super fun and will like land fun. super it's super fun and it's like a water and, slide but you know more intense and no water <laughs> no water <laughs> <laughs> but not like a horrible kind where you like you know like a water slide but you accidentally hit a spot that has no water and then you're like ah, oh, it's no, not I that it's not that it's yeah, the fun yeah, kind that. i get you i get you um <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably like land and just be like in a like fit of laughter, just kind of like <laughs> like and like the whole time her feet are just kind of like moving, and then she'll hear like the noise and the laughter at the same time, and just kind of be like, oh, so many voices, and do like a backwards like flip, but land on like the like the ballet shoes, and so kind of like use that to kind of like like hoist her up and then kind of does that little like teetering like on the ballet shoes and then I just want to like listen like directly like where is that voice coming from and do I hear like anything else uh like, the screaming sorry the screaming I want to know the screaming. yeah yeah uh, da, 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 gotta have the right tab too many tips that is a 17 so the um you hear men and it just sounds like it's like from the sky. The um sound of the man kind of just yelling, it reverberates everywhere. It sounds mm -hmm. like it's just echoing. Like there's it's very sourceless. But it's, it, you know, it's kind of echoing just in this area. It does. It doesn't seem like it's like back in the trees. It's just kind of like here. Um, but then you also hear from in the house, like a very slight, like. Uh... I'll just say, I'll just like kind of like start going towards the window, kind of like prancing over to the window. like. Kithley, there's a third voice. And like kind of like go and just kind of be like da, 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 da. Uh, Kithley follows, but she uh looking over all of, like the gingerbread and the candy and makes the observation of that that's like five days worth of carbs right there, at least. Um you're gonna have to really just you know do a lot of cardio to kind of get over that. Um but uh, what did you say about a voice you heard other than that guy? Where the hell's Med? In the sky. The sky. Right. That's probably true. Yep. 
Sky and then the man is everywhere. And then there's like a who in the house. Like a ghost? Uh, I saw, she, sounds, she sound like sad or just ghosty. Uh, I mean, that sounds like a ghost to me if I ever heard a ghost before. I mean, that, that's a ghost sound. Let's go say hi. Sure. You first. Okay. Um, I want to go to the door. Okay. And I'm following the door. <laughs> you kind of start walking up to the door, and um, the the bushes in front. So it's kind of it's kind of got like a nice little porch that comes up, and there's like these bushes that kind of go around it. That almost looks like um wadded up grass that you put in like an Easter basket. Like all all kind of around the edge. And as you're walking, you just hear like the little clip, 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 clip as it's like almost hard candies that you're walking on. You know, it looks almost glass like. And you you get up to the stairs that go up a couple of steps. And it's it's very much like a gingerbread cookie. Whereas then the the railing kind of looks like piped chocolate that's nice and cooled. And you get to this doorway that looks like it's a, another piece of gingerbread, but it's like iced with white. And it's got little window holes in it with like a little curtain. And and the door is like made of like a, a jawbreaker, like the door handle. And um, as you get up, you can hear even louder. Ah! Uh, Kate's going to kind of like mimic it not rudely but also just go hello Let's see there's a <laughs> stops hello you feel oh. like a, a rush of kind of like cool air come through that window in the door hello Hello? Are you? Who we... is it? Uh, Kithley and Kate. Med is somewhere and Sky Med is around. Um, who, who are you? Can, can we open the door? Like... Yeah, the door opens and you see a semi translucent. A uh, younger girl, she's hovering about like a foot off the ground. And it's almost like as the body goes down, it just kind of disappears and turns into just like wisps. Um, looks like she's wearing just like a little sundress. She's got these like big pigtails and like freckles. You can kind of see where there's like freckles probably on her face. She's like, oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, Kate's gonna be. I don't kind smell of... candy on you guys. I don't have any candy, but I have uh, some granola bars, uh, packed with protein. And I'll start pulling. A pulling big rush of air just hits you. It's oh. cold. No. They're good. I can't it's... taste anything unless it's really sweet. I'm just so hungry. Ramona usually brings me food and it's been so long. So you said when we walked, it was like the floor was candy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this whole place is like a gingerbread house, essentially. So <laughs> this might be a bad idea. But um, Kate's just going to go, oh, and like start like tapping her foot like a little like harder to try and like break the. What are you doing? You're going to break it. Candy made this. You said you wanted something sweet, right? Yeah, I'm not going to eat the house. It's all stale. It's been here for so long. I guess that does make sense. Mm -hmm. While we figure out the sweet thing, do you know about the guy that's yelling? 
Oh my God. So I'm usually used to people like hollering and shouting with my visits and, you know, um, t- like saying things like, oh, well, t- you know, t- don't bake a pie unless you don't want like me, lady figgy pudding, stop and buy. You know, it's like, it's a thing. And I'm used to the kind of the yelling, but <sighs> Scooter, he just doesn't stop. And he has cookies. But why is he still screaming? I told him I'm not leaving until I've had my breakfast. Yeah, and she kind of like points behind her, and as she like points, she just kind of goes over really fast and like picks up what looks to be like a model of the room nine. Like she holds it up, and there's like a door that looks just like the one that y'all were like standing at at the hallway, and they picks it up, and she's like. But you're not going to give me any of your cookies, are you, Scooter? And he's like, and then I won't have anything to eat. And it's like echoing. Kate's just going to (laughs) go big, medium, small. Huh? Big. How? Yeah, that, what she was asking. Uh, what is that? Um, well, it's, it's, um, another room, and I don't know, he said he's got cookies, and I tried to let him out, but I don't think my hands quite do it, as it's like, she's somehow holding it, but you can still tell that her hands are, like, phasing kind of in and out as she's trying to, like, do things. Can Um, I take it from her? No! You, I was gonna try and get him out. But then if he gets out and then I'm stuck here because I can't, Ramona hasn't told me I could leave yet. She hasn't brought me any sweets. And then I'll be here alone. Here? Is she, is she like small? Is she like kid size? Yeah, she is like kid size, but she's like floating kind of a foot off the ground. Uh, Kate's going to go, I have an idea. And kind yeah. of just like lean down. And it's kind of still like stutter stepping. And it's, how about we go look for food? I can come There's with you. <gasps> there is something here. But I'm scared go of find it. it. I can go with. We can dance the whole way. Oh, what if? Oh, dancing's fun. What if? What if you went and then brought it back and then I'll give you the room. So then I can go and he can go and you can go. You don't want to dance with me? And she's going to try to persuade her to like. Go for it. That is an 18. Um, It'll be real fun. What if we dance in here? And then you can go outside. Outside, because you said you're scared of it. Oh, well, sometimes it's really scary, and sometimes it looks really yummy. What is it? Um, um, it's like a, some, some kind of sugar monster. That sounds awesome. Uh huh. Uh huh. And Candy told me that she's seen them before. And 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 sometimes after after you've like beat the monster, then it leaves behind like a sugar sculpture, and it's really yummy. I uh, like Kithley's like taking her shield off, like and kind of getting ready to brandish a long sword, and it's like turning around like <sighs> monster time. You're so cool. Yeah, I am. And keep walking. But we can still dance. Do you want to dance? Okay. Okay. Then, she like goes need- over, and, like, disappears for a second, and then reappears on the other side of the room where there's like a old record player looking thing, but it's like obviously just like it almost looks like a cardboard kind of mm. play thing, but then it's got the the big um it's not like what are those what were those things called? Like the the phone, like the the the, the speaker thing. Yeah, kind of like, I can't remember what they're called, but yeah, the gramophone. Uh, gramophone. Thank you. Mm. Um, 
and that looks like it's like wafer cookie. And then she puts what looks like a lifesaver like on and like starts it and it starts like spinning and it starts playing some like bubblegum circus just <laughs> music. He's really, like, ah, I love this song, but I need both your hands, okay? Um, okay. And she's like got that like sundress and has like a little like like overall pocket and she just puts the room in there. Yuck, yuck. But th- can I try to do something else? I yeah. I wonder what I've got this fucking box. So um steal it. Steal the box. Steal the well, box. I'm literally gonna steal candy from a child. <laughs> um I was going to try to, like, um, so probably just, like, like have both her hands doing, like, spin kind of dancing. I just want to, can I, like, spin her where there's, like, enough force that it just kind of, like, pops out? Okay. So she puts her hands out and you put yours out. It feels like, you know how, like, um a good what's a good explanation like an air jet where it kind of feels solid but you can just put your hands through it still Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. what she feels like where it's like there's something there like you can feel and like kind of fake it but as soon as you try to like grab to spin it's just like like there's no real purchase so i can't spin her damn it i mean she'll spin with you but she's kind of operating her herself (laughs) Mm-hmm. While Kate does that and I'm marching out, I'm like, Med, Med, we got to kill a monster. Okay, yeah, Med, you, uh, you've like shut the door to Ramona and you turn back around with a stale bunt cakes in one hand and a candy cane in the other and just say, Med. <laughs> um, especially if I hear the we're going to kill or we got to kill a monster. Um, he uh, double times it a little bit. Um, he was probably lollygagging a bit like my life has come to this. I've trained for this. And then it's like, kill a monster. Oh, let's do. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> he uh, definitely tries to open the door with the candy cane key. Yeah, as soon as you just kind of touch it to the um, house, you feel that same just kind of weightlessness, and then like you're sucked in through a tube. You go wee, you know. We already said it's a water slide, so it feels like you're doing that. And then you land much more gracefully right in front of the front door. Do I still have my candy cane key? Yes. Excellent. It's all still in your hand, and you still have the cakes, and you're like, oh. okay. So I'm okay. gonna. Tuck the candy cane key away. And I'm going to open the stale bunt cakes and with my feather hands waft whatever smell I can, you know, um, Mm -hmm. to uh, bring out uh, Gertrude. And at the same time, I am yelling um, for Kate and Kithily. And do I hear the yelling of the other person in there? Yeah. So you plop down and hear a cacophony of odd noises you hear this like bubble gum pop like just kind of echoing inside and like kind of a girl little girl laughing you hear the very end of kithala yelling that you have to kill things kate's feet and you hear come on just let me out of here what's going on and you plop down and then there's a moment where you just uh kate gertrude just kind of stops she's like oh i smell something sweet oh i'm getting real hungry like gertrude have a little bit of a taste please swear and she whooped to the door and swings it open. And y'all see Med just standing there on the front porch with, like, pastries. <laughs> Med! Well, hello. She brought snacks. 
Not for you. No, oh. no longer a sky <gasps> voice. Excellent. Yes. Um, okay. So I think uh, I, th- I think I know how to get out of here. Gertrude, I have Hi. candy for well sweets for you. So it's safe to come out. These are from Ramona. She sent she sent me with them. Um, oh, okay. But um, we need to bring everybody out, not just you. Oh. Mm-hmm. You need a scooter? So I'm assuming I see this room. Yeah, and she's just going to hold it. You see, like, a little gnome guy, like, face pushed up against a window next to the door, just like... <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, luckily, the beak kind of covers his face, but it's less like... <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. And she's, like, holding it upside down, even. Like, you can obviously tell it's upside down, but he's still somehow, like, right in there. Um, can... Um, I'm going to try and... And take it to like turn it right side up. Will she let me do this? Yeah, she just kind of look. Can can I feel it? Like if I if I try and turn it, like do I actually get to touch the box? I'm curious. Yeah, it sound it feels solid. Okay, it feels like yeah, just like a wooden box essentially. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So and she just kind of turns around. She's like, "Well, they were gonna kill the monster that makes a cool sugar sculpture. Can you still do that too, though? Even if we leave." Uh. I mean, is that necessary? Look, I brought you stuff. Yeah, but what if I come back here and then it's still here and it's really scary and then I get stuck here and I don't have a scooter to keep me company and then there's just a scary sludge monster outside. So does the sludge monster hurt you? No, it's just weird. And you just want to eat its leavings? Yeah, it makes a <laughs> sugar sculpture. Candy says it's the best ever and that they're really, really, really cool. Okay. I just don't know if it's... Uh, I just don't want anyone to get hurt while we try and do this when you can just go outside and get, like, funnel cake. I don't like funnel cake. I like candy. Uh, whatever candy. Oh, uh, candy. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, I mean, I guess... If, yeah. if he's not hurting you, I'd hate to kill somebody. I mean, just he did you do want that. Their corpse. <laughs> and she At least just behind back. Med, like <laughs> she points back, and there is like a busted window on the other side of the room. It did do that one time. It now, why did it do that? Um, because I saw it, and I was really bored, and I didn't know what it was yet, and I was like, "Oh, hey." Would you want to be my friend? What are you? And then it it went from being like a little tiny, like bouncing ball of like pink goo to like a giant ball of pink goo. And then it went and it jumped in the window at me and it was really scary. So then I hid until Ramona got me out later. Okay. So Med, it, um, is, you know, like six feet tall, even though he's young, he's definitely like looking down at her. Like, why'd you do that? Um, <laughs> she's just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I will look to the other, uh, to Kate and Kith Lee and, um, kind of judge their reaction. I don't think it's worth risking our lives for, cause I don't know anything about this. However, you've been here longer. Is this a danger or true danger that we need to face and eradicate? Um, both while y'all answer, whatever you choose to answer. Uh, Kathleen and Kate do a perception check for me. Oh. 13. Kathleen did a five. I feel like we missed. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I was in the process of, like, getting this open, and then I never did. Um. So, Kithali, you're just, like, you were just, like, raring to go. And so you're, like, mm-hmm. you just kind of give him a look. And you're, like, really focused on him and Gertrude and what's going on. Um, Kate, as you're kind of, like, just kind of, you know, keeping yourself busy and listening to all of this, you look behind Med. And you see movement. As something is kind of, like, blah, blah, blah. 
kind of like making this weird kind of movement it's still kind of shadowed it's not quite hit the light coming from this um house but it is like bright pink and it is real hard to miss so i can tell it's like a thing yeah come in your direction it's coming at us okay Mm -hmm. she'll just be like Oh, we can see if he wants to dance too. And she's going to kind of like go around like med and kind of like prep. Just kind of like get out her, her fiddle and like, like get ready for whatever's coming for us. An odd thing to take to battle, but all right. Um, okay. So... Kate is preparing for battle. Kitley. Already prepared for battle. Gotcha. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so Med. Pulling out a javelin. Yep. Med reads the room um, and uh, asks Gertrude, <laughs> how did you turn it into a sugar sculpture before? Oh, I've never done it. Um, I think it's something um, like you just hit it enough that it. I don't know. Candy said it just turns into like something really cool and pretty. Um, I think I think we've been talking too loud because it's coming closer. Okay. Um, I think this is happening. <laughs> um. Okay. So, um, Med is just going to try and get as much information from Gertrude as possible. Um, hitting, uh, hitting with what? With spells, magic blasts, or like hitting with angry fists of righteous indignation? Um, no, it just kind of, it just kind of, it, it'll, it, it can move into little tiny spaces. I can answer um, this question for you, Med, and I chuck my javelin at it. <laughs> oh shit! Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oh. go, I go ahead and roll initiative for right, me, real quick. Right, right through um, that, right through that hole in the window. <laughs> can I say just for just for pizzazz, uh-huh. um, as Kithley throws the javelin, Kate's gonna. Which you notice, you Kithley, you said that's like a weird choice of weapon. Kate kind of like flicks her like I don't I don't know instrument bow. terms. The bow. The, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the bow. I don't play shit. Um, <laughs> but she like flicks the bow, and you notice that it's like sharp. It's like a blade. So right. it's like it's a weapon. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and then she's just kind of like gonna kind of like pull it across the like. Mm-hmm fiddle that she has so it kind of sounds like a devil went down to georgia like tunes about to get started and just kind of like sets the scene with that shit where this is gonna happen every time we fight so get ready you have a bow blade i have a bow blade Bow blade. yes i love it also very shit roll oh righty anyone get above a 20 nope 15 to 20 15 yes 15 15 15 15 um who has higher dex? My dex is, thir- is 13 plus one. Um, I have a plus two. Okay, so it'll be Med, then Kithali, then Kate. I got five. Good thank you. <laughs> yeah. And Gertrude's like, um, me and Scooter are just gonna watch, okay? And she just like disappears and reappears over by a window and like puts the box up so Scooter can look out. And then she looks up and just sits there at the window as um this odd amorphous ooze looking thing now kind of just crawls its way into a view. We'll say it's about 30 feet away. As it kind of comes into this light that you can um, see. And um, so we, uh, Med was standing right in front of the door. Kate, you came out, correct? To kind of prep. So you're on the front porch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Kithali, you're standing on the inside part of the door. Yeah, I think so. I think I may have uh, shot this past Med. 
Perfect. Um, so let's see. We'll say because Kate moved out, uh, you watch as you know what during a battle the aesthetic has to go away because i have to read this stat block um without being like what does it say <laughs> um you watch this ooze kind of almost stand up kind of straight it's almost like a slug but then it's got all these like weird little blobby offshoots and it's been kind of crawling and you see it kind of stands up and there's like this long section of it in the middle that kind of comes out in this gross ooze and then it goes to a point and you see it's starting to like crystallize as it goes to a point and then it shoots out right at Kate. Right on, right on, right on. Uh, My first fucking hit was a nat 20. (laughs) Fucking course it is. This is the I was doing you, Kate. Above a ten yesterday, but I, I picked forget. it because it's the same color as the ooze. This is I forget. Color. I'm I'm a bard. Why did yeah. I go in front? Uh, <laughs> so many hit points on that bard, right? Yes. 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 Now we're still level one, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is this is gonna this is gonna hurt. This is gonna. Bye, Kate. Is, this is she's gonna, gonna like, hurt. She's gonna like get started in the, uh, like instantly. Uh, I rolled max damage and then the least amount of damage. Okay. So okay, okay. 16, 17, 18, 21. There's damage. no way. <laughs> she is she legit like very cool it set. Like, like like looking awesome, just kind of like ready and go <laughs> like legit is out. Out and dead. How many hit points did you have? I have 13. Okay, it wasn't double at least. It was a double. Right. It was a double. You're not immediately dead. That's super. Yay. <laughs> Look what happens when you try to add flavor. Fucking bite you in the ass. <laughs> she fucking died. She fucking <laughs> died. So is there like no way to heal? Like I, I, I have oh, no, 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 no. She's just she's just unconscious. <laughs> Okay. Thank God. I was but like, you are in <laughs> you're in death safe territory. Yeah, you're in death safe territory. Oh, hey, I'll bring this up because uh I feel like this is something I should have talked about at the beginning. So it's totally up to you. So what we've been kind of doing in um home games and tomb and annihilation, because it makes things more stressful, is uh DM's been rolling death saves. Would y'all like me to do that? Or so it's like a secret, or do y'all just want to roll them so you know what's going on? I'll let y'all choose if you want the meta or the stress. <laughs> I'll take the stress. Okay. Sure. Stress it up. I love it. Because so <laughs> I promise I'll be like honest. I wouldn't put this up and then like fudge it. But just wanted to bring it up if y'all wanted the, the meta knowledge or the stress. I'm stress. still feeling. <laughs> okay. I'm still feeling ripples of uh, Lee almost dying. So this is a fun zone. This is a fun zone. Fun, I fun mean, stuff. I've DM'd for a Blair in two long games, and I killed her in both of them. <laughs> so, Why do you keep only back, Blair? <sighs> I don't know. We're like best friends or something? I, don't know I always bring her... Oh, actually, I don't bring her back. The players somehow magically bring her back every time. But <laughs> Yeah, Taylor's like, damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to kill her. Foiled again, you rotten kids. Uh, Med. Okay. You turn around and you're like, Oh, uh, no. Um, she is within. She's, she's like, like at your feet. Okay, great. I'm going to cure wounds on her. A. Hey. Um, make sure I'm doing this right. I got the lowest hey. possible cure wounds. Um, eight. Hey, that's. More than half her hit points. That's true. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. I was just depressed that I rolled a one. Um, and I think that's all I can do. Yeah, you can move, or if you have a bonus action or something. Um, I, I don't think I have any bonus. Would it say? Yeah, more, like okay. in your yeah, action. Uh, I think at this level, y'all probably don't quite yet. Yeah. Um. Can can I um, move her body out of the way? 
and and me with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it like, just I mean, do you, Cause you could easily do you want to like just scoot into the house? Like yes. y'all are right at the door. Yes. You can yeah, just kind grab of like her. around the corner, like ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna, uh, Easy. Yeah. So Meg, you uh cure wounds her. Kate, you come back to life as you're being drugged into the door and around the like edge. Kate's gonna like touch her head and like try not to hit hit Med with the, the rapier <laughs> with the with the bow bow bl- bow blade bow blade. Bow blade. That's right. <laughs> I gotta kind of remember that. And just be like, oh, the music stopped. And just like, and she's like, oh, I think it's going easy on you. Usually it does that three times. Cool, fucking cool, fucking <laughs> great. Uh, Kithley, it's your turn. Um, Kithley's call to action initially was throwing her javelin. So I think oh, it's yes. fair if that I continue to do that. Yeah, go for it. Um, go ahead and roll to hit. 14. That hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nice. Four, because I rolled a one as well, Kelly. <laughs> did the javelin you threw the first time, did that hit him? This I think uh, this is yeah. my first time, technically. Uh, yeah, that was one. like, she was following through as you're like, <laughs> dragging gotcha. her in, essentially. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Did Kelly um, just freeze for anyone else? Oh, yes. Oh, oh wait. there you are. Yeah, sorry. There's some network issues um, on our What's end. What's on that issue yesterday? I think it's from on um, our end. My resident IT <laughs> um, <laughs> was just like, mm, I can't do anything about that. And so we're just going to deal with it. Um, Then I'm going to uh, just pull out my shield and a sword and kind of just get ready to go toe to toe. God damn. Oh. Uh, moving or just kind of prepping? Um, I'm going to be staying kind of at this doorway. Okay. So not really moving, just kind of covering everybody. Okay. Uh, Kate, you're awake. <laughs> cool. Great, cool. I don't want to go close to that thing again. Um, but that's like the only thing I can do. Um, mm. Oh, okay. Um uh let me let me understand bards for a second. Gertrude's just kinda like floating over you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I'll be. And then she's gonna kind of like scary. (laughs) She's gonna kind of like do another like backflip thing uh to stand back up. Are we doing does that take is that just my movement? have my movement okay that's fine um so she stands back up and then gonna kind of like look over look um out the door and then 30 feet from me like as as close but like in a direction that is not towards us she's gonna kind of like start playing again and cast minor illusion to look like a little gertrude is like close and over there um, and is kind of and is kind of going like mm, and like taunting actual it. Gertrude does it back. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna be like over by the pink thing. You know what Perfect. I mean? Perfect. Yeah. But yeah. like so it, it kind of turns to look at it. Um okay. and that'll be I don't know if it has to get a sound or image. Okay. Um Okay, so if if you do, um, the creature will use its action to examine it, um, and then we can we can do like an intelligence roll from there. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be her action, and then um, for uh, her bonus action, she's going to um, <laughs> she's going to look at uh, Kithley. And just be like, watch out for the pink spike. And kind of like sing it and like keep playing and give some bardic inspiration. That's it. 1d6. Sweet. Yeah. Still, still double one Georgia kind of like. It just stopped for a little bit. It just stopped for a second. 
It's still there. It's not yeah, happening. Meg got you up so quick. You like came to still kind of like. Oh. <laughs> it was like a dramatic pause. It, that was the yeah. that was yeah. the interlude, and now yeah. it's it was like pause, pause, mm-hmm. and here we go. Okay, beautiful music, music. Okay, um, what is your spell DC? Because it is definitely you looking right at this thing, and you said intelligence. It. Tis be an intelligence one. Um, yes, successful in oh, in t- investigation. I get well, I don't know, the intelligence. Yeah, um, check against my spell save DC 13 okay. is my okay. spell. Save. It got a negative two. <gasps> yeah, I rolled two nat 20s in a row for initiative and hit you, and now I'm back to under 10. <laughs> All right, so it just kind of like how close did you put it to it? Not too close because if it tries to like touch it, Mm -hmm. it reveals to be, which I don't know how that works. Like if it's dumb, if it's like a dumb thing and even though it reveals to be an illusion, I don't know. Um, It just, but if it does touch it, it like passes through. So far enough away to where it would have to take some movement to get there, but 30 feet from me. So because it was about 30 feet from you from the door it was so did you want to like do it a little closer a little to the side how many feet away from it you could kind of put it anywhere around to the side in front just not behind so it has to be 30 feet i would say like to the side like out to the side so it would have to kind of like move towards it to go there how many feet you going over there shit this is one of those times that my math teacher told me i would need yeah. Um, um anything anything 30 or under. Let's go let's go like 30. Okay. Um it kind of looks over and sees this little ghost taunting it. And it just kind of the whole top half of it just goes and then it just starts to, it goes kind of back down. It does little slug movement and it mm-hmm. gets about 10 feet away from the ghost. Um, and it's Med's turn. Oh, wait, away from the ghost? Like towards it. Like it's, but okay, it's okay, 10 okay, feet okay. away. It's only moved 20 feet towards it. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. I am going to do um, a less because we're all within 30 feet of each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this will be up to three creatures of your choice. Can that be me included? Yes. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I think you put yourself in blessed. Wonderful. Okay. So um, this just happens. And I just have Beautiful. to concentrate. And it lasts for a minute. Around Beautiful. still six seconds in 5e. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, wonderful. Okay. So then it's going to be... Everyone, whenever you do a saving throw or an attack roll, you uh, roll a d4 and add that to your number. Cool. Wonderful. And so that lasts for 10 rounds. And um, Taylor, if you want me to keep track of that, I can. Yes. Yeah, if you will. And that is concentration, correct? It is. So okay, I'm still going to be kind of hiding out. <laughs> cool. But yeah, if you'll just, just kind of keep it up. Do I need to stay within 30 feet of everybody? Like if, if people start scattering or is it I don't just. I think so. I think it's when you cast it. Okay. That's what I thought too. I just wanted to make sure. It may not be, but we're going to call it that because guess say, what? It's our game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so everyone. Um, and this is round one. Yes. Yes. Okay. So from now on. Um, 1d4 added to your saving throws or your attack rolls. Thomas Kipley. Um, I know that we just tried to put distance between it and us, but um, Kipley's going towards action, so she's going to run up to it with her longsword and attack. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll to hit. Um, so... I rolled a natural one. What's your bonus, though? Oh, even with my bonus? Uh-huh. 
Uh, six. I mean, oh, altogether, no. it's Still six. Hit. <laughs> um, yeah, the D four. So our one's not a auto fail. I, I mean, it was seven. So seven hits. <laughs> A whole that's why, shit. That's why I'm a little iffy on one being an auto fail here because it is a giant, like it's large. It's a large creature. It's a big blob okay. that can't really move. Like I, I, I will give you a little bit of a caveat after you roll your damage that we'll call with the natural one. Okay. Um. So damage. Uh, five altogether. Okay. Okay. So you uh go and you have your uh sword. You run up, slash into this like ooze and you can just like as soon as you kind of like connect, it just feels sticky and gunky and you're like starting to pull your um sword out and when you do, you hit a little weird and you realize your foot is standing in it also. Oh. And you're like, "Oh god." And it is like it's like you know molten sugar essentially like just that mm-hmm. sticky ugh. um Gross. and i need you to do a uh strength saving throw please cool and i get a plus d4 on that as well um cool so and you have your bardic Damn. if you need to use it at any point still natural 20 what hell yeah you shuffle um you step in you yank your sword out and you go and it kind of topples you and you realize your foot's in there and just and you pull back as mm-hmm. this thing kind of looks like it kind of reacts and like gets ready and it kind of moves mm-hmm. its little tentacles and things blobs kind of your direction but you are not grappled by it by its stickiness hey uh anything else i'm just moving in to defend beautiful kate all right. Uh, Kate's gonna. So it's it's distracted. It's going, it's going towards the thingy still. Um, it kind of reacted to getting stabbed. So, okay. but it's okay. it's Sorry. it's distracted by two. No, things. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little little Gertrude. Um, illusion is still just kind of like just taunting, doing whatever whatever it can. Um, but Kate's gonna like walk out, stay on the porch still. Um, and just be like, okay, let's try this again. And do kind of like, like, a like get into like a run, like one of those where it's like, I can't make violin sounds, uh, or fiddle sounds. And she's going to try and animate its shadow. Ooh, what's that? This is a first level spell. This sounds badass as fuck. Um, so... You bring to life the shadow of a creature you can see within range. The target must make a wisdom save against your spell save DC, or their shadow animates into a malevolent attacker. For the spell's duration, the shadow stays attached to the target, sharing its space and constantly um, assaulting the target, granting advantage on all attacks against it. In addition, the shadow deals 1d6 necrotic damage at the beginning of each other target. So it's oh, basically... Yeah. Just- just like shares it's it's like it's shadow and just like attacks it. That's so cool. And you said wisdom? It is a wisdom. I'm telling you, back to under 10, that's a three. Hell yeah. So yeah, I guess it just it just attacks itself. Or the shadow. So whatever um, it's attacking. And you said it, it gains advantage. So now Kithley will have advantage to hit. Oh it. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Is that what you said? It, it gives advantage? Oh um, no! It, sorry. Um. It. 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 Because it's sharing that space. It has advantage on all its attacks. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Um. And then you said how much damage per round? Uh. It just says it attacks it. So I think it's its attack. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Um, then, and, but then it also, in addition, it does 1d6 necrotic damage that I can do. Oh, at the beginning of each of the target. Oh, at the target's turn. Okay, so whenever it goes, I will do a 1d6. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But uh, yeah, I mean, 
that's kind of what it sounds like is it uses its own attack. And I mean, you can tell me if it's different than that, but the Andy Beyond takes forever to load for me. So I'm trying to get there. So you're trying to see it if sounds it, like, like what attack, like if it takes the candy monsters attack roll, like two attack or attacks on. Its yeah. Turn. Yeah. Let me post this in spells duration. The in our stays attached to the today's call season. All attacks against it. So everyone will have advantage against attacking it. Oh, shit. Um, okay. In addition, the shadow deals 1d6 necrotic damage at the beginning of each target's, each of the target's turn. So, yeah, it, it's just you all get advantage, and on its turn, it will take 1d6 necrotic damage every single time. Okay. Okay. okay, uh, okay. And it can attempt a wisdom save to dispel the shadow. I was about to, I was about to say, this is too OP to be a first level spell. Um, and it's but, concentration. I mean, it, so it's still so pretty. Keep your points, it's just in case. Okay. Um, so it'll and at just the take end the of each turn, it can attempt a new saving throw. So okay. Um, well, it is its turn. So go ahead and roll a d6. <laughs> Two. Okay. Oh wait, I was gonna also do. Sorry, I have my bonus oh, yeah. section. Go for it. Um. So I'll just turn to Med and just be like. <laughs> okay, now this is fun and just kind of like bardic inspiration that shit. <laughs> the advice. Okay. Um the ooze just got got by its own shadow and Kithily. So it is going to uh you see another bit of it just kind of starts to separate in this goop and it starts to harden as it goes into a point and it looks exactly like your sword and just mm -hmm. slashes at you. Shield. That's fine. It's two. 18. Beautiful. Um, Bam. Then it will do another little bit of it comes out. And a dagger shoots at the ghost illusion. <laughs> it just whoo, through it. Does that disperse yeah. it? Um, it doesn't disperse it. It's there, but it's like, mm -hmm. why no hurt? <laughs> um, shit, and the Kate, you're back on the porch, huh? <laughs> I'm like close to the door. I'm like just where I could see it. You said you went on the porch. I'm on the porch. <laughs> it's okay. I rolled a three. <laughs> Thank God. It goes, it shoots out those two and then goes to slash at um Kithily. And as it does, like you see that this like piece of sugar sword just kind of like crumbles into to um not even like not even really like candy. shards. It almost looks like spun glass, you know, like little bits Ooh. of pieces. Um, and then it is Med's turn. Oh, it's gonna wisdom save. Does not. Can yeah. I do anything while I'm concentrating on the spell? You can, yeah, you can still do stuff, just not another concentration spell. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Where are these these little shards? Are they coming out of his chest or just like random places on the just, body? Just, yeah, random bits as it's just wherever a little bit kind of. And it, it looked like it was very much directional. Like Kate was near the left side of it and a left one went off and the ghost was on the right and it went to the right. And the middle was Kithley and went in the middle. It looks like it's just any bit of it. And how far away is he from me? It's still about 30 feet. Because it kind of went I think to I'm the too side. Far to do anything, I would probably uh, do a um, def defensive stance. <laughs> Set a okay. thing in here. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep being ready because um, he's too far away. Maybe yep. have the door, like if I could kind of peek, you know, in the crack of the door, and just oh, kind of yeah. hide. Yeah. <laughs> And be like, like, good job, y'all. <laughs> like, you're, so you're doing great. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kipley. Doing great, sweetie. Uh, Kipley will attack again with her longsword. Okay. Roll to hit. 24. 
Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, plus eight or eight nice. to damage. Kacha! Kacha! I'll make right. you into a lollipop. <laughs> All right. Um, So, oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, fuck it. I already messed up. Uh, just pretend it's it it shooting at the ghost. That didn't actually happen. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I goofed on a thing, but um, okay. So you hacha and hit at it. Mm -hmm. um go ahead and make another strength save as you're trying to yank your sword out of it do i still have bless mm -hmm. yes yep. uh 16 okay. plus yep uh 19 cool. altogether beautiful yep you hit and just hit and yank it out real quick um heat okay um so, so you said we have, like, all of us have advantage, right? Yes. It? Oh, yeah, you had advantage. You want to roll again, see if you crit? <laughs> yes, I would love to. I didn't. Okay. But thank you for letting me try. Yes. <laughs> um, so I don't want to get closer to it, and I want to keep my shadow up. So um, kind of in, like, a flourish Kate's gonna like it's gonna be another like musically timed lull and kind of like do a spin and as she spins grab a dagger from like her boot and like throw it out at the um out at the thing. I don't know how throwing weapons work, but it says I can do it. So yeah. she's gonna throw a dagger at it. Do I have to do anything? Do I have to do anything um, extra with that? You no, have, you just rolled a hit, but now instead of it being like with your strength, it's with your dex because it's finesse. And you have bless, so you have an extra one d four to hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, to hit ah, I do. Okay. I'm sorry. I not rolled for you to That's attack. Not That's the same thing, right? To oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So wait, Taylor, you said it's um it uses your instead dex. of because it oh because it's finesse, so it'll it'll still be the plus five to hit. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Because you're finessing it. Ooh, that wasn't too good. Um, so. E Why? <gasps> oh, no. Um, 17. Yep, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Um, damn. Four. Okay. You fling your um, dagger. And it, you hear just like a little bloop, as it just sticks into this like goo and it just kind of gets like sucked into the middle of it. And it's just floating in this like pink glob. Nice. She meant, <laughs> she takes a mental note. Uh, if we kill it, hopefully I'll get that back. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. And then um, kind of pick up the music again, getting really, really intense. Want to kind of like play it to um or uh Kisley, did you use your bardic inspiration i have not yet okay then never mind she's just gonna like pick it up and she oh you know she's gonna be smart about this she's gonna go into the door and she's there gonna you go, go. Hey. she's gonna she's gonna go back and um but like still playing so then it, it's like oh my god do y'all know that gif um from Road to El Dorado, where he's just kind of like, and like, <laughs> she does that, but just kind of like back into the doorway. It's so. beautiful. Um, okay, it is the ooze's turn, and it's going to do that same little blade maneuver and hit at Kithley. Go ahead and roll your damage blare for it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that I think hit. Yes, that's a dirty 20. Four. Okay, four more damage. Um, so, Kithali, you are going to take some damage. Okay. You take eight piercing damage. Rough, okay. Um, 
and it's 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 rolling real well and it's wisdom save so it has still got a shadow on its ass um and then it goes to med where is gertrude she just kind of like got her face up against the window is watching kithily kick ass kind of just right there by the door okay um i um throwing an improvised weapon How's that work? Um, I would say you could you could do just the uh a D twenty plus your deck. She just won't get proficiency bonus. Okay. Um I look uh look around, do I see anything I can throw? Oh yeah. I mean the the, I mean, Aside the place from is kinda of like Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's it, you're like in a nice little living room kind of um uh study area and everything is like made of candy so you could like there's a candy cane table you could probably easily just break a leg off of or there's like you know some books or like a a a, a coat rack that's like made out of twizzlers okay. i'm gonna start taking <laughs> shit apart um beautiful and i am going to throw so i'll have to i'll i'll do i'll do a five foot do my thing and then five foot back um, beautiful hiding away um throw a candy cane coat rack that i have broken into a third beautiful yeah i hope it's all you just shardy. crack it over your your knee and step through and just kind of javelin chunk it so go ahead and roll a d20 add your decks okay okay and then i'm gonna do a d10 d4 so that's 10 right there plus a d4 2 12 oh yeah that hits so go ahead and roll just let's say just like a d4 d4 um you know it's essentially a dagger <laughs> okay we'll, we'll do daggery that's a one hey that's, that's more than i was doing there you go <laughs> hiding behind a door and um, um, I call, you know, sure. my my battle. Ah! Um, <laughs> yes. What then, is your um hide. dex modifier? Me, uh, two, mm-hmm. two. Okay, so we'll say I did three damage. Oh, total. sweet. We'll let you add that still. Oh, um, my battle call. Yes, yes. <laughs> the bardic Alrighty. inspiration that was only for um Kithily, right? Okay. No, you have one. You had one also. Oh, what does that do exactly? Just curious. Um, so let me read because <laughs> I think it's didn't. attacks and saving throws. Okay, uh, the, the, the creature can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay, this can be added after seeing the roll. And it's a d4 or what is it? Uh, d6. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, after the roll, but before the result, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To attack, to Beautiful. save, or to... Uh, ability check. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Good to uh, Kithily. Kithily attacks again. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Um, trying to slice through this thing. Beautiful. Uh, 21 to hit. That definitely hits. Uh, advantage. Oh! Dang, we gotta keep her mirrors. Oh, I oh I did do it. Uh, okay, it was seven damage. I didn't oh. crit. Oh, cool. And, then, and do a good old save and throw. Uh, I'm gonna use my one d four first. Okay. Um, that is a thirteen. Okay, that just saves. You feel, and it just, like, as you kind of cut into it, it looks like it knows, like, it's learning. And you see two mm-hmm. tendrils of that goop just kind of, like, wrap around, like, the hilt almost right where your hand is. And you're like, Ugh, and just barely pull it out in time before it sucks it back in. Not today, sugar. <laughs> um, okay, then back to Kate. How's it looking? It's got lots of bits of kind of sponge sugar and sugar shards kind of laying around it. Like it's being hacked at, but it's an amorphous blob. 
Okay. <laughs> the only thing I can do is go up to it. Um, how far away am I? 30 feet. Uh, that's literally like the only thing that I can do to be of any help. Um, can I actually, can I like, so if I'm in the doorway, can I look around this house? Is there anything else that I could use as like, it's not going to be, maybe not going to be as good as a dagger, but like a throwing thing. Kind of. You do the same as med and just start ripping yeah. up some candy cane furniture. I can yeah, hand can you, I do I can that. hand you a third of my candy cane uh, or of my Twizzler coat rack. Oh, nice. Can and... I, can I? <laughs> yes. And then throw it. <laughs> yeah. Chunk it. So what same you... D20 plus dex. D20. An advantage. Yes. Does everyone have advantage or just those two? Yes. Okay. Everyone. We should have. Yeah, we should. It. Okay. <laughs> God fine. damn it. My rolls are shit. Um, add your deck. 10. Plus. Oh, wait. Plus 1d4. Plus bless. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> One. That's a four. So 14. That hits. Yeah. Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, so how much, how much damage? Are uh, you- D4 plus your deck. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the same. Okay. D4 plus my dex? Okay. Why is a dagger only plus three? I don't know. Well, your dex is. Because it can't give you diabetes like this coat rack can. Yeah. I guess so. (laughs) Because, like, the damage, because I have, so when I look at my dagger, this is, I always get confused by this shit. Um, It's like a D4 plus three. Plus three is your dex. But my. Your, your oh, da- so oh, your I damage see, I see, I see, I see. is just your dex. Two hit is dex plus proficiency, but you don't have proficiency in throwing a twizzler. I was I was looking at saving throws. I was looking at saving oh, throws. Okay. My bad. Okay. Uh, ooh, four plus three, so that's seven. Nice. Um, <laughs> you throw this fucking twizzler, and it's just like spinning end over end and it's like right as it's going up to uh like hit kithily with another thing and you just the twizzler spins and just rips off that whole chunk of glob uh, and it just shatters into some like bits of stuff behind it and it's nice. just like <laughs> kind of goes back down um and anything else uh, back into the doorway. Okay, so you kind of ease back as the. Can ease. I use a? Can I use a bonus action? I don't know. This might be asking too much. Can I use a bonus action to see, like, because we only have one thing left of the coat rack? Can I like look at? Is there a second coat rack? Coat rack? Coke? Not coke rack. Coat rack. <laughs> coat rack is something <laughs> completely a, different. Yeah, we don't want that one. There's it, a it table. Looks like, and stuff. It looks yeah. like sugar. Maybe it's there. Yeah, um, there's a table here. Even we'll say it is a table mm-hmm. that has like candy cane legs, mm-hmm. but then the top of it is like a a sheet of sugar glass. Ooh, We're just okay. Throw shards at them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she'll like take her 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 uh, bow blade and just kind of go and like break it to make some more. Just kind of shatters ammo. Gertrude's like. Oh my god, that's so fun! I don't know why I haven't done that before. <laughs> um, she's cute. Then the Sakus moves again, goes to hit at Kithley. Do I roll my thingy? Yep. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. That's the same. That's the same roll. That's a dirty twenty. Okay. Six. Take six damage, which is max. All right. Hey, I literally rolled the least amount of damage I could possibly do. Five. <laughs> good. That's good. But that's only the amount of damage that you did. <laughs> I have three hit points. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Hold on. I should. I should be healing. Um, um, it's going to try and shake its shadow. Nope that that's a nine. I don't think that mm, that nope. makes it home. Huh? <laughs> um. And then back to 
med because y'all are both in the door so the ooze can't do anything else. I'm going to throw the last to the coat rack. Um, chunk that coat rack. I'm going to chunk it. Um, okay. What? There we go. Woo! 19. Um, nice. Uh, roll advantage. Maybe you can crit. Well, which makes it a 21, but let's see what happens. Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think it still hits, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to do a D4. Plus my dex is five. Five and damage. Again, <laughs> really yeah. annoying. It's just get it out, Med. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Battle cries all day. That's awesome. He's he's in it. He's in <laughs> he's in for it. And then he like sees the shattered uh, table and picks up one of the candy canes. Beautiful. And uh, hands uh, another candy cane leg to um, Kate. Beautiful. So that you already have it ready to go, Kate. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Kithily. Yeah, this is going to be good. Good, good, good. Um, I'm going to have to cast Lay on Hands on myself um, yeah. for five hit points, um, which is my action. Um so I'm just gonna like, <gasps> and then uh, yeah, cat heal my wounds, um, and then go back to squaring off with with the sugar thing. Beautiful. Um, Kate, uh, Kizzly, how much are you down? Are you still down quite a bit? I'm at half now. Okay, so, so um, she'll kind of like have her candy cane and like peek out, and uh. <laughs> Just kind of uh, say like, uh, oh, sorry, I was too wrapped up in my own performance. And cast Healing Word as a bonus action on Kithley. Uh, so, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only four because I got a one. So four hit points. Um, Back up to 12. We're good. Oh, I, that didn't mean to. Sorry, I didn't mean to roll that. I just mean to you know, just want to cast it. Um, Although I should have taken that. That was better. Um, but uh, then she's going to throw the the shard okay. at it. Um, advantage. Oh, my fuck. Get this dice out of here. Um, so that is... And then we're blessed. Oh, yeah. Um... Math. math, 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 math. Higher than 23. seven. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay. And then I'm also gonna get. No, I'm gonna keep going. Um, okay. Five. Okay. Okay. So you chunk this like shard of glass, and it's straight up like pinches off a whole like back forth of this thing that just like falls into shattered uh spun sugar um then it goes back up to it that is going to continue to pummel the only person it knows exists currently and um, yes oh no 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 did you crit again God damn it, Taylor. Also, it takes five damage, by the way. Five? Yeah. And you watch the shadow kind of like plop down with a, a weird shadowy ooze and like another big chunk of this thing like just falls off and shatters and kind of turns into spun glass again. Max damage? No, but a lot. Okay. How much? One. <laughs> nice. How much? Um, 21. 21. Uh, yeah, I'm conscious. Like, one last. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Med, you watch through the door Fuck. as Kipoli falls back. Um, it rolled in that one. It's wisdom save, so it's still shadows beating the hell out of it. And it and Kipoli is thirty feet away from me. She was right at the thing, right? Oh, and okay, it hits her, and she falls. And as she falls, it kind of surrounds her and starts to bring her into itself. This is how I want to die. Holding onto her. This is how I want to die. Like just wrapped in sugar. This is good. (laughs) Good, good, good. But she she is 30 feet away from me, yes? Yes. Fuck. Okay. I can't get to her. Um, okay. That sucks ass. Um When I use an improvised throw weapon, I don't have proficiency, so I can't really aim. Or can I? Yeah, can like I try kind of a called shot with a minus five or something? I mean, it's still really big. Well, I I want to. I think you can like not hit her. I want to get those crystal hands, like the the tendrils or whatever, to not to not suck her in. Well, see, and it's, I mean, it's all kind of ooze at this point. Like, it's like the ooze just kind of, like, grows around her, you know? Think just, like, slime. So it's not crystallized yet, but, I mean, yeah, you can you can kind of chunk them in that general area. Well, so that was very cyberpunk sounding. It's like, can I call that shot and, like, minus something? I was like, <laughs> I, that sounds that, very That's totally what, that's totally what it is. Um <laughs> That's what happened. I, I gotta lose my sequin jacket. Hold on, I'm hot, I'm toasty. Look, it's got it's got coat it's got coat tails. Oh, Look love it. That. Look at your coat tails. Can I do um? Would could I only throw one or or could I throw a couple? Um, do you? If they're the little crystal shards, you know. Do you have two weapon fighting? I don't know how it would be it. under, I think, like your feet, feet or something. Feets. I don't. I think like somewhere under feet or traits or oh, something. No, but I have something better. Perfect. <laughs> this is better. Okay. I am going to. Um, I can fly. <laughs> Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going. I am going to fly and do a um, talon. Let's see. Can, so okay, ask me. Can I do this? I want to fly there, um, do a medicine on Kithali, and then fly back. My flying range is fifty feet, so I'll get as far as I can. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could get the 30 feet up and then the 20 feet back. And yeah, the medicine check will just like stabilize her where essentially I won't be rolling death saves for her. Yes. But that would be your action. So yeah. Yes. Okay, that's Perfect. what I want to do. Okay. Yes! I wasn't sure if I could fly. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, And I am going to be... um, So I'll, I'll be vulnerable, which fucking sucks. Um, but I'll try and do... Yeah, a- it will probably... Yeah, because it'll it'll hear you there, so it'll it'll arrange or a uh, opportunity attack when you leave. But fuck. Okay, I don't have a lot of hit points, um, so maybe I don't do that. Um, the bad I, thing is, like, none of us do. <laughs> I have you eight. Eight. I mean, my only times I've really hit have been crits, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't. Okay, fuck it. Med's, that's why Med's scared. gonna do it. Med's gonna do it. He's gonna be brave, go. Med. And he's going to stabilize Kithali, and then he's just going to go for it. Um, okay. Deuce. Okay. So go ahead and roll. <gasps> oh, a natural 20. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Plus Set six. Bucket. Plus six. Hmm? I said, you know what? Fuck it. Um, you bandage her up a little. Actually, it, it just kind of like knocked her across the head, really. Mm-hmm. And she's kind of mm-hmm. had like a, a, little, a little cut. But it looks like it more kind of knocked her out more than it did like stab her uh, and you kind of like throw a little a little bandage on there use a little bit of that ooze to just kind of stick it on and you just slap her in the face with your wing and sh- you kind of come back with one hit point Kithley. because yeah. not 20 yeah. why not <laughs> yeah she just Fuck she yeah. just dazes you enough that you're like 
uh, uh, and it's like got your like waist down is like starting to suck you in. Oh, good strength training. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's a and it's your oh, actually, it is going to slash at you. Um, at me as or... you fly off. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Twelve. <laughs> no. Yeah. So. Yes. yes. Suck my feathers. <laughs> Suck my feathers. <laughs> um, and Kithily, you come back up, and you're just standing there, and there's just like pink goop sucking you in. Yeah, like I said, strength training now. Um, I find my sword in the mess, and I stab into it again. Do it. Um, Do it. One hit point me. Um. Do to do, do long sword advantage. It's all as it's sword or a shadow. Twenty one. Uh huh. Uh huh. I probably drop my shield. So both hands. Yeah, go for it. Roll, roll good. Seven. How do you want to kill this ooze? Yeah! It's sucking you in. <laughs> like it's sucking me in, and I just find my my sword and just go. Right into it and like take that sugar. <laughs> you stab into it. And instead of like that goop that just, you know, like has been pulling in, you notice as you do where your sword stabs in, it crystallizes around it. And then you see like like almost kind of like a, a lightning or like the glass breaking kind of situation going on. Mm -hmm. And it almost glows as it does this and just cracks all through and you feel like your body kind of free and you're able to sit down, not like suspended by goop. And mm -hmm. bits and pieces of it kind of fall off as those little tendrils that are kind of going through stay this really pretty like spun sugar and by the time it has finished cracking and like big chunks have fallen off you see left in front of you what almost looks like a um like a uh, it, it, it stands i mean it sounds like a go four feet tall essentially and it, it those little cracks almost look like a really frilly dress and it's like a little doll but it's all made out of spun sugar Gertrude's like, oh, it's even prettier than Candy said it would be. Oh my god. Think put up hell of a fight. We uh huh. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Just, just trying to like brush it off. Like <laughs> she's really we're gonna hurt, but you're just kinda holding it together. Gertrude literally drops the room with Scooter in it and like runs out the door and like goes like it looks like she's probably gonna hug you but just goes directly straight through you and then mm -hmm. like just stands and is like looking at the sh Oh my gosh this is the greatest day ever I was so hungry and that thing was so scary oh my gosh uh, Kate's gonna pick up the box and just kind of like she, the music kind of the slows down. There's like a perfect. This has all been perfectly scored, by the way. It just has <laughs> sounded lovely the whole time. Um, mm -hmm. Really like bent with the movements. It was great. Um, but she'll pick up the box and just go, "Hello, Scooter. Get me out of here. I'm so tired of it." And she's gonna like look for like a button or like a. You see a door, and then the window he's looking through, and then the rest is just kind of, like, black. She'll open the door. Can she, like, push her finger and, like, open the door? There's, like, nothing to really grab hold of. You kind of push. Okay. She'll just, like, take it and, like, walk over to Gertrude and be like, How do we get him out? No, well, I don't know. I've never seen that before. I tried, but it didn't work. Oh, God. He's getting you scared. <laughs> um i want to ask gertrude um so we leave now yeah yeah we get the, get the hell oh, out of here yeah yeah, yeah definitely let's, let's go ahead and leave. Uh -huh. okay um, and so i'm gonna let her lead she the way out the giant thing i was gonna can i pick up the the sugar sculpture yeah she's <gasps> holding on to it with you i also grabbed my dagger yeah, daggers on the ground, a uh, bit Javelin. of Twizzler on the ground, a couple of candy canes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Usually Ramona comes and gives me candy, and then she's got like a candy key and got it. Leave. All right, cool. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, that's it. All right. She says I can't eat it. Y'all, we could have well, left know. before destroying this thing. We could just fucking left. But we got but to destroy this place. thing. Yeah, that was so cool. You're so cool. Thank you. I know. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a great show. You know what? This has been so fun. Y'all should come visit me again sometime. You don't have to come back here. I mean, though, if there's another monster and you want to kill it and I can have more candy sculpture, that would be cool. But I usually just stay in the forest in, like, a really cool clearing. And you should come see me sometimes, okay? Like, in the sweet, get sweet forest or, like, outside no, the of... the real one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just hang out there, and then whenever I get hungry, I come in here and 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 cause a little bit of trouble, so I get free food. I'm going to pull out map view and be like, "You wanna, you wanna go ahead and mark on here, maybe? Tell, tell. Don't you tell dare me. write on me. Well, just let her, just let her touch you a little bit, and let her tell you where it is. Oh my God, I think she's too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you will tell our friend Map View. Um, where your clearing is, that would be ideal. Okay. Um, Matthew. Um, long time no see. Um, you know when you go out like the gate where like the Hecna statue talks to you. If you go like out that way and you walk like straight for like five minutes, and then you go left and you walk like that way for like three minutes. That's where I live. Okay, I will. Definitely remember that. Cool. Um, I'd like to get the hell out of here. I agree so with that statement. I take the candy cane key, and we're we're already at the door. So Step. she just kind of holds on to you guys, but it's just like cold air kind of encompasses you, and she's just like one arm completely around the neck of this like sculpture mm. and then just like let's go <laughs> and you are uh back uh this time not inside a random dark windowless room you are on the second floor and right at the end of the hall, where before there were there was no door, there is now a door that looks like a little gingerbread door with like some icing piped around and some little peppermints, and you're standing right in front of it. And you're like, oh, weird. <laughs> Where's Scooter? <laughs> you're just, yeah, holding the box uh, that Kate's got. He's just like, just give her a moment and get me out of here, okay? This is, this is all this. Oh, I'm so tired. Kate's going to take off, like, skip dancing to go find Ramona. Hopefully lets everyone, like, walk forward. And she's like, finally, when everyone's gone, she's, like, holding her back. And I'm just, like, just trying to stretch it out. Um, I'm going to. I'm. Remember how I said I was hungry? I'm still hungry. That was super exciting though, and I forgot about it for a little bit. So I might take the this 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 the sugar thing and those cakes and go home, okay? You're gonna go back into the sweet oh you're gonna go into the forest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you should give some of that to Candy. <gasps> so that I should can go make. see Candy. <gasps> she would be so excited to know I actually saw when she talks about all the time. Y'all should go see her sometimes. She's just candy the candy emporium. She made that whole room. Did you know that? I love it. She's my best friend. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye. Thank you. You're really cool. All of you are really cool, but she's really cool. It's a kid. Diane. Cool. She just kind of floats and then just like disappears. <laughs> okay. Let's find and Ramona. Scooter is just looking out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have skipped off i figured is she like it, is because the room nine was on the second floor right yeah and you look that's just a wall there's not even a door there cool fine neat um <laughs> so then she'll go find ramona 
She's like down there kind of like scribbling in a book. And she's like. Med. To the bird. Oh, 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 you're sorry. I thought you should just say that. Me. Yes. Piffily? To Kate. No, 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 no. Red shoes. Kate. <gasps> you found room nine. Oh my God. I was wondering where that was. Can we get him out? Get who out? Scooter. Scooter. Oh, Scooter. And she like grabs it from you and kind of sits it down, uh, places kind of this cube on the hustle's front desk. And um, she, she kind of like writes herself and goes from like, Oh shit, I fucked up till I kind of bemused and just kind of taps the top of the box three times. And you see that the tiny door appears to open and this gnome guy hops out. And as he like hops out, he and grows to like normal size, and lands on the ground uh, on his feet with a flourish before he kind of like spins around and looks at Ramona clearly exasperated. He's like, you left me in there long enough, Ramona. And he's like looking up at her because I mean she's she's a marionette, but she's human size. He's like, oh. he looks back at you guys. Thanks for busting me out of the clink. Sometimes it's a uh, oh, fun stays a little too fun. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I would have been in there forever, and I was getting a jolly turkey. Anyway, I think next time I'll do uh, the game room again. That one's that one's pretty good. I sure love balling with old Laird Bubble of Squeak, so I believe he's got the juicy ducket check with my name on it. Um, oh, which by the way, Scooter Von Snooter. Uh, you are. I'm Med. Late. Med. <gasps> Kate. And you said a lot of words right there that didn't make any sense at all, um, but. You know, that's okay. A lot of people here seem to be doing that. Um, did you, were you in trouble and she put you in there? No, I rented the room. I thought it would be fun because, you know, it just kind of goes like, in different places at different times. Um, but, you know, <laughs> like I said, a little, a little too much fun, if you know what I mean, sometimes. And uh, I guess Ramona forgot about me this time. How am I supposed to enjoy the Revelia and have fun and just, you know, be generally awesome if I'm stuck in a room? I can't. That's what I'm saying. Oh, um, um, by the way, this should uh, work as a portal, right? And he, like, reaches into his pocket and he grabs five, like, crumpled red tickets. One of them kind of looks a little chewed on and puts them in Kithily's hand. What are these? They're tickets. For what? Oh, um, I guess y'all are new here, huh? I didn't recognize your faces. I thought I'd just been in there so long. I had forgotten people. <laughs> but um, uh, that's kind of like the currency around here. You know, if you ever want to buy anything, you got to have the tickets. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Um, Did y'all not get tickets from the ticket booth when you came in? I don't think we've made it there yet. This is our <gasps> first destination. Oh, well, then I'm glad I could could help get y'all started. It's almost like a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a jump start to the fun out here. What's the different colors of tickets mean? Oh, I mean, there's there's just like the golden ticket that's like, woo, you got in. And then these the red tickets are just money. Oh, okay. Mm hmm? Uh, Kithley hands the tickets to Med. He he took some. That in seems re his... more responsible than Kithley having them. So, tucks it into one of his pockets. Um, are the you said the tickets are crumply, but they're like, um, do they smell weird? Or are they wet? You know what I mean? I mean like I so said, one of them looks like he might have chewed on them because you know oh. he's been stuck in there a while. Okay, Delish. but other than they're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So well, uh, now you all have tickets to to go, just go out and enjoy the fun. I'm sorry that I had to wreck your fun for so long, but thank you very much for letting me out of there. Because I mean, oh, the Revelia, it's, it's such a wonderful place, the best in all the worlds, in my opinion. And 
what a maestro Hecna is, huh? Have you got to meet him yet? He's just so cool. You're in the best place you could be. So, Faye, all the tickety jackalupa that uh, there's so much to see, you know, right? Right now, I need to I need to get some paste at the Homesy Douglas. Hi. Uh, too sweet. And he, he kind of like starts to kind of walk towards the door. You know. Ah, y'all get the hang of it eventually. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> too uh, sweet. No, no, no. Uh, too sweet. Um, Med's going to do this big sweeping arm wing situation and just block him. He's like, oh, you, you what are we going to get the hang of? I, I feel like we would get the hang of stuff a lot quicker with your help. We helped you, you know, it'd be nice if you could, you know, tell us what you mean. Oh, I just mean everything. If y'all are new, I mean, I could, I could give you, I could tell you everything. So, okay. You got to get tickets and the tickets are the money. Okay. That's because everyone around here comes from all over the place. So money's pointless unless it's our money. Um, you said I was saying a lot of weird things. I just gobbly gook. You'll get the hang of it eventually. It's really fun language. Um, Hecna runs everything and he's super awesome. I mean, you know, my favorite part of the Revelia other than everything has got to be Hecna himself. I mean, he's brilliant utterly brilliant such a laugh and just the best you have to beat him oh my goodness um but then you can go i was gonna go get some paste from the food court um uh, oh uh paste means food uh-huh um umzi dogus is the food court and toot sweet is right now so i was gonna go get food from the food court right now um Let's see what else. Um, there's, 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 there's. You the mentioned games, the Laird. There's the parade. Oh yeah, Laird. He's super great. He is such a performer, and he is so much fun. He likes to hang out in the game show room a lot, just because it's really fun. I don't know if he actually stays there all the time. Ramona, does he stay there? He's just like. Da, 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 da. She's just like. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, is that where he is? Huh. She just goes back to like writing something. I think Kithalay has like leaned her arm on like the counter and her head on her arm, and it's kind of falling asleep that way. (laughs) Just going because she's very hurt. Yeah. (laughs) So she's just like, "Mm -hmm." um, okay. Um, Scooter, is there a first aid tent around here? Like, what do you do if you break? I mean, we don't break. I look at Ramona as this like broken ass. She's just looking at like, a blank stare. <laughs> Good to know. Awesome. Could I just get a room? Could we get a room? You said free rooms, and I would <gasps> love a room that yes. does disappear on us. Okay, so I won't give you room nine. I have I've learned learned. For that, I need to entrust someone else. Maybe not another marionette. Definitely not me. Anyway, uh, yes, free room would be great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Scooter. I didn't realize you were the screening. I kind of forgot you were here. She's like, I hey, forgot you were here. And then just like goes back to smiling. Um, she's like, well, um, I have a box of keys. Do you want, you can go uh, look at the rooms and just pick one if you want. Or if you just want to hear the theme, I can just tell you a fun, fun theme. A quiet room. That is uh... just, just nicely quiet. Not like creepy quiet or overly quiet. Just comfortably quiet. Hmm. What about, so, she looks at y'all. Well, I think maybe the most just relaxing room that isn't boring, because we're in the boring room, which is just like a, it's just a boring room. So it's quiet, it's relaxing, but it's just a boring room. Or, um. There's the camping room where, you know, it's like you're camping. No. 
there's bears with, or, or whatever horrible things here with camping. I think a boring room sounds great. Yeah, boring, boring room sounds great right now. No, I guess whatever tackles or fancies. And she kind of digs through the, the box of keys that y'all like left down there and just brings out this like brass, just a normal brass key with a little placard on it that says boring room. Um, I take it. <laughs> there you go. Well, we'll talk. Enjoy. I will talk more after I rest. Okay. Um, like med. Have fun, Kate. I think a good rest sounds good. <laughs> uh, Kate's gonna lean back over to Ramona though and say, "Did you say Laird's here?" <gasps> yes, he's usually here. Um, unless he's performing or doing something. Um, I think he, if um, Scooter's right. Probably in the game room. That makes sense. He seems, I seem to remember he really likes game shows. And so he's probably in that room. Here. And she kind of like digs through. She's like, you can check it out and see if he's in there if you want. Thank you. And then just kind of like follow. If we're going to the boring room. I don't know. They're just ways. Or it's just like. <laughs> really stiff and scooter's like oh yeah thanks if you uh you see me or you know see you around or whatever i'll uh be sure to i don't know buy a drink or something and that what people do i don't know anyway valley rune rune revalia it's out the door um and you all walk up to the second floor again to a room it is the first door on the left and it is a simple wooden door made of oak and it's got a, a little brass placard on it this is boring room and a little brass lock that's the same as the little brass key and the little brass placard that you have you easily just put the key in there pops right open and this room is a perfectly normal looking hotel room the walls are covered in an ugly pattern wallpaper depicting Heckna's face, who uh, whose expression changes slightly every few seconds as you look. It's kind of just like, you know, like just like little slight changes. Um, the um, you kind of noticed as you were looking anywhere in this entire place that there's some sort of poster of Heckna in the halls obviously now in rooms there was one like right by the room nine that randomly disappeared um and you see the room has three twin beds covered in red velvet blankets each flat flanked by similar wooden nightstands uh and then there's a kind of a, a magical sconce that's got that's kind of like floats just like a little bit off of the wall and on the air and air that's got a little candle on it uh that is right above a desk and it's just it's just a normal looking room so nightstands beds and a desk perfect I'm gonna throw my stuff near the middle one and lay down on it <laughs> and go to sleep which is okay. safe, totally safe. But that is what Kimberly is doing. Med is going to uh, check out the room. Um, okay. Check for traps, check what's in the desk, check what's in the nightstand, make sure okay. everything's safe. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, roll a perception check. And are you going like straight up, like opening desk drawers, like just looking at everything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can, or I guess, an investigation too, if that's. Oh, better for you. Not really. 18. Okay. Okay. Um, so you are kind of going through the room. The nightstands are kind of just tables. There's not really much to it. You look kind of look under the beds. It's kind of like a hotel room bed where it's got bumpers so nothing can get under the bed. Um, just kind of random 
patterns that keep changing. And you're like, oh, it's pretty empty. Then you walk over the desk and you see on the desk, uh, there is a notepad, you know, as most hotels have. And scribbled on it in Ramona's handwriting that you now know very well with how many notes you've seen that she has written all over the place. says, Gertrude visiting next week. Don't forget X much point, X much point, X much point, X much point, R. So <laughs> it looks like she forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you see that the desk has just kind of like, it's a top and then it has two drawers on either side. And um, you're just going to kind of just pull open those and dig mm-hmm. through as well. Okay. Um, Kathleen's laying back, conked out. Kate, what are you doing while this adventuring is going on? Kate was going to go to the game room. Okay. Just for a sec. Okay. Um, so so you didn't even come into the boring room? She came in to like like set stuff down or just kind of like look around and then be like, I'll be right back. And I'm just kind okay. of... Uh, um, hold real quick. There it is. Um, okay, so Kate comes in, drops her stuff, and kind of like walks back out. Uh, Med, you open up these two drawers... And two red, kind of small red balls are on either one. And as you kind of look at them, you see that they kind of are moving a little bit and plop up. And then you just see like legs come out of the bottom of them. And they both jump and fly at your face. Uh <laughs> Okay. So I guess you had a high enough perception check. They're not going to like get to surprise you. Uh, but we're going to need a roll initially. Sure. <laughs> Are these like clown noses? They look very much like clown noses. Yeah. But now they've got little like almost spider legs that have popped out of the bottom of them. Awesome. That's Oh, eight. shit. No. You don't like it. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. We're okay. We're okay. That's an eight. All right. All right. Um, so, uh, Kipley, if you would like to as well, <laughs> since you're in the room and you're definitely going to notice this is going on, feel free. Um, okay. So, <laughs> these two things jump at you extremely fast and like hit you hard just with their general trajectory um i gotta stop rolling this pink one i just got my fourth nat 20 of the night on one of them stop it stop um the (laughs) other one got a 14 that 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 hits okay so they both hit um as they (laughs) jump onto you um and (laughs) Boring room, my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Clown nose. Oh my god. Um, you see that? Okay, so they both jump at you. You have a beak, but like right between your eyes where a nose would be if you were a person, one of them like attaches. And you just feel it like onto you and the other one like jumps and like hits at the at the the one that's already there and then just kind of like jumps off towards uh kithley doesn't make it there but jumps that direction um other fucking clown knows okay (laughs) um so med on your turn uh i need you to please make a wisdom saving throw See, I guess it's a good thing that I left because there's only two clown noses. There wouldn't have been one for me anyway. That would have been. You would have been one odd one out. Oh, sweet. Okay. It's a seven. Um, wisdom saving throw. So it's just a d20 plus my wisdom, right? Uh, it should be 
on like the left side of your character sheet, there's a saving throw box. So you oh. might have m more if you're proficient. I'm not sure. You, I do. Okay. Um, so should I just, okay. So I'll just do that. The D20 that I rolled. And so it, it's close. Um, so 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. Um, you kind of look, look cross-eyed and look at it. <laughs> and for a second, you're like, <laughs> it's an, oh, God. And then you like, you're like amused for a second. And then you're like, what the fuck? And now you can act however you would normally act. Do I swat it off? Oh, 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 oh. Now it's my turn and I'm not yes, like yes. encumbered in yeah. some way. Okay. Yeah, you're not encumbered. Gotcha. Either, so you can do whatever gotcha. you would like. Okay. Yeah, totally. I am going to like do this situation with my talons to kind of like get it off okay so go ahead and just roll to hit like just a melee okay. uh your normal talon uh okay so to hit <sighs> 10 10 yeah you go to like scratch at it and it just kind of goes bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> it just moves right over your claw and you miss Definitely disapprove of this. <laughs> um, Kithily, you hear the door, the, them open. Uh, probably a surprised sound from Med. <laughs> and look over and see a clown nose sitting right above Med's beak and another one on the ground right next to your bed. Like, just like, when I open, like, um, okay, what, Med? Med, what's going on? <laughs> Fucking clown noses. Okay, Kithley will, like, get out of bed, uh, or, like, start to try and get out of bed, and just happens to accidentally, like, step on a... <laughs> Tries to like just steps yeah. on it out of just getting up. Yeah, go ahead and just roll to roll to hit with your melee. Kind of unarmed. Uh, you go to step and it. You now see little legs pop out inside of it and it goes and scoots right to the left of your foot as you step down. That's creepy. Um. Okay. <laughs> Where's Kate? Game, game just like, doo, 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 doo. Yeah. <laughs> um okay uh the the little clown nose on the ground is going to jump up at kith lee's face now okay that's a seven uh 18 Gotta assume yep that does not hit uh you just kind of dodge out of the way instinctively as it just goes <laughs> right past you okay uh, Med, I need you to make a wisdom save again, please. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, because it's still on my face. 23. And you're like, this is not even slightly entertaining. <laughs> not even. You're just like, I Super hate this. over it. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to, again, um, I guess try with my talons to get that shit off. Okay. Go ahead. Roll Ooh, 21. That hits. Roll your damage. Two. You spear it and it just goes <laughs> like it just smushed a bug. <laughs> no, 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 scree no screech or anything. No oozing anything out. Um, you kind of have that weird situation like when a tick bites you where it's still there. Ew. But it's like So is it still smushed. on my nose or is it on my talon? Um a little of both. <laughs> but it is dead. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're like, uh yeah. okay. Yeah, so cleaning myself um, off. Gross. Okay. Hippily, there is a clown nose on the bed right behind you. Can I try and pick it up and throw it at a wall? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go ahead and I guess just kinda like Rolling it. Yeah, unarmed. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. That hits earlier. Or do you do you have any additional? Or are you just a one point unarmed? No, strength? 
Is... Oh, no, you got strength plus strength, right? Yeah, I think so. So four. You kind of look, and it and it it's just skittering back and forth, just like kind of waiting, and you I just time for the shit. Yeah, you just just see it, and you're like, no, and then just chunk it against the wall, and it's like a rotten tomato just splats against the wall. Gross. You okay, Med? Yes. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> so Kim just flops back down. Had that, that shit done damage, I would be unconscious again, y'all. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. I have one oh, hit point God. right now. <laughs> uh, Kimberly hits the bed again and is like, done with this. Med, are you going to just kind of relax? and? Um, I wanted to look at the wallpaper of Hecna. Did mm-hmm. it, does it change at all since we killed clown noses and he's a clown? I mean, just the same kind of like rotation okay. of just like a slightly different... It, it didn't get mad or anything. Like, right. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering. No reaction. Yeah, like, does it react? Okay. Um. Yes. He would like to rest to regain his spells. Beautiful. So you start to rest. Well, Kate, you uh walk down to the first floor where you see a room that is outlined with light bulbs and there's a little on-air sign that lights up as you approach it. You have um a key that looks like a uh, number of yellow tickets and a single blue ticket totaling, um. well, I guess that would have been three but now it's just you so you have essentially everyone's tickets um and you see on the door there's like a little a little ticket slot kind of like a you know a pinball machine or not a pinball uh ski ball where you get them but you can like kind of push them through um so wait you said there's one blue and then there's like three yellow yes okay do they say anything on them? Uh, they're just like the very generic, which just says like ticket and then like a number on Admit them. one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she'll just like rip off a yellow one, I guess, and just kind of like slide it in the thing. Okay. Uh, you start to kind of slide it and it doesn't feel like it's mechanical, like it's not feeding or anything. And then all of a sudden it just feels like something has been like yanked out of your hand and it just into the door. Uh, and you hear just kind of a like, a like a skittering of sorts of just kind of like I can't I can't make the noise loud enough that my thing's gonna pick up here. But you know it's just like kind of mm. down the door, and then <laughs> the doorknob turns, and then you hear a plop, and then a and as the happens, the door kind of swings open. And you see this room that is a 20 foot by 20 foot uh, square. And it's kind of set like a small TV set, almost, it looks like. Uh, You've got two chairs on top of a red rug with a bright spotlight above it. And there's small rows of empty chairs that look like a audience kind of seating area. Um, And you see that standing... In front of the two chairs, and as you enter, does a big bow, is Laird Bubble of Squeak, your fun, punky, just companion from the forest. Um, And you see that he is dressed in a sequined flashy. Why? I'm literally talking about his outfit. A sequined flashy (laughs) outfit. My lining's inside out. I can't put it it up um uh uh outfit and um he sees you come in he's like ah kate it has been so long too long two one minute away from you is too many minutes away from you she's gonna kind of do like She's going to kind of do like the that ballet stutter step again and just be like, oh, I didn't mean to. Hello. <gasps> I see you. You are so lucky with tickets today. I see you have my blue ticket. You know what that means? No. Yet again, you are the star of my show. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Here, come, come, sit. Come sit next to me. Sure, this like- is the greatest show in all of the Revelia. Don't tell anyone else because they'll get their butt hurt. But it is because it's mine. And now it's even better because you are here. Okay. And he kind of like sits you down and the spotlights all turn on and you hear this like music come on. And then there's kind of like a stock clapping kind of audience noise. And you see behind you these like red curtains kind of poof to the side and there's like this large ornate framed photo of Hecna back there behind him and uh you see that uh the the lights you know they're 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 a solid spotlight but it's almost like there's a little glitter to them you know like it's just like real fancy and you're just like Oh my God. And they're all just kind of like spinning around. And then they do that like, like beginning of who wants to be a millionaire. And then they all mm-hmm. turn on you. And Lair just kind of fixes his jacket and he looks over at you and he's like, All right, are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. And then Super you see mind. like a, a big, over kind of like a teleprompter looking thing, a countdown. And it's like five, four. Three, two, one. And this just brilliant music starts playing. And we'll see what happens next time. Ooh, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Show. Awesome. Man, that I almost killed. Fun. Perma killed two of y'all. That, that would have been Yeah. Bad. Then, oh, my God. I only needed, like, two more points of damage to perma kill <laughs> Kate. <laughs> yeah, you were close. You were Yay. Very close. Um, anyway, thank you, Taylor, so much for running yeah. the girl gang game. Um, we will let everyone know um, via our socials the next time that we will be playing. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, tune into Con Save tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central um, to see their new game. Uh, here on High Shelf Gaming, we'll be playing Aegon tomorrow night. It's our last uh, Aegon episode. So tune in for that. Uh, this will be uh, shown on the Consave channel on Tuesday, as will their Aegon game. And then oh, yeah. Wednesday, we're back with Red Markets. Or Taylor is going to figure out the scheduling for... This might be Monday. The <laughs> other forgot thing. Aegon's back. This might um, be Monday. We really appreciate everybody hanging out, having fun with us. I had a great time. Thank you so much. And... Uh, with that, everyone have fun and play well. Yeah. May Ali rolls be crits. Hey. Hey. I get to do it. I get to hey. do it. Hey, <laughs> everyone steals it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Wait, what's the thing? Room, room, Valley, Red, Red, Red.